Hello and welcome to iQuanta. And continuing with the tradition that we are doing, IQA by iQuanta developing mathematical acumen. Today I'll be discussing all geometry questions from the slot one of CAT 2021. Before that, let us explore that how many questions were asked and the type of the questions and also the concept of the questions. So the three questions in total, the first was based on area of polygons, second on uh, circles and third on triangles and polygons combined. Let's have a look at the first question. It says, if the area of a regular hexagon is equal to the area of an equal triangle of uh, sides 12 centimeter, then the length in centimeter of each side of the hexagon is what? This is a very easy question, I would say. We just have to know the formula for calculating the area of a triangle, equal to a triangle as well as the area of a regular hexagon. So uh, for triangle, the area is root 3 by 4 times square of side. And for the regular hexagon, the area is 6 times root 3 by 4 times this side square. And if you look at this, this is very logical because a hexagon is essentially made of 6 equilateral triangles just like this. So if you know the side, side, this is the side and here this is the side. So this, by using these two formula, we can calculate the areas of a triangle and also of a hexagon. So it says the area of this hexagon is equal to area of a triangle, an equilateral triangle of side 12 centimeter. So essentially we will have to just equate the area of the regular hexagon with the area of the given equilateral triangle and that will be equal to root 3 by 4 times square of its side, side is 12, so I'll just write square of 12. <clears throat> that is what we have to calculate and this is actually an easy task. 4 and 4 get cancelled. Now we have the square of side is equal to root 3 multiplied by 12 multiplied by 12 as it is 12 square divided by root 3 times 6. Root 3 and root 3 get cancelled and we have 6 to the 12. So basically we get the square of side as 24. The square of side as 24. Now if the square is 24, the side will be equal to the square root of 24, the positive square root of 24. When I say positive square root, that means that a side of any polygon can never be negative. So here our answer will be, I can take 4 common, so I'll be left with 2 and inside, so 4 into 6 is 24. Square root of 4 is 2, 2 is outside the square root and we have 6 here. So our answer is 2 root 6. A very easy question, just have to know the formula. In case you do not know the formula for the hexagon, you can derive it by using this because it is basically a combination of six equilateral triangles. Going to next question. The topic is circle over here. It says the circle of diameter 8 inches is inscribed in a triangle ABC where angle ABC is 90 degrees. If BC is 10 inches, then the area of the triangle in square inches is what? All right. So... We have an equilateral triangle, right angle at B. This is how the triangle looks. And it's written, we know that BC is 10. That is something we already know. And rest of things we don't know. All right. So if I call AB as P and AC as H, representing perpendicular and hypotenuse basis 10. So... Uh, what I can do over here? A triangle is, uh, a circle is inscribed. A circle which is inscribed is known as the encircle. Drawing the same triangle again and inscribing a circle is known as the encircle and its radius is known as the in radius, which can be this or this or this. Alright, so these are the 
in radii. Now, there's one very important uh, observation, specifically for right angle triangles, uh, the encircles of right angle triangles, there the in radius is P plus B minus H whole upon 2, where P, P is the perpendicular, B is the base, and H is the hypotenuse. Always keep in mind that this formula for in radius is applicable only in the case of right angled triangles. All right. So now once we know it, we know the, the magic, <coughs> and now I will calculate it really easy. So it's known that the diameter is 8 inches. If diameter is 8 inches, as we know diameter is double of radius, that means the radius will be equal to 4. We'll just put it there and we'll try to have a relation between P, B and H. B is also known, B is 10 over here. Let us put the values. So R is 4, putting R as 4, P plus B is 10 minus H whole upon 2. If I solve this up, I'll get P minus H plus 10 is equal to 8. Solving it further, I'll get H minus P is equal to 2. Or now I can represent hypotenuse in terms of perpendicular. Right? That can be done. Basically, we have to find the area of this triangle, which will be nothing but half times P multiplied by B. This is the area of a, of an, uh, of a right angle triangle. Base is known, it is 10. To find P, that is why I can replace <coughs> H with P plus 2. H with P plus 2, I can replace it over here. So now this H becomes P plus 2. So far, so good. We have a right angle triangle, perpendicular is P. Hypotenuse is P plus 2, base is 10, and we can now apply Pythagoras theorem, which says the square of perpendicular plus the square of base, which is 10 over here, is equal to the square of hypotenuse. So by using this, we can find the value of perpendicular. Let us find that out. We'll get P square <coughs> plus 100 is equal to P square plus 4P plus 4. P square and P square can be cancelled out. Now solving for P, we'll get P is equal to 24. <clears throat> the unit used is uh, inches over here, so P is 24 inches, B is 10 inches. So now we have all the values, we'll just put it in the formula for the area of a right angle triangle. P is 24, P is 24, and B is 10. So we can just put it over here and we'll get the answer as 120 square inches. That is our answer because 2 can cancel 24 12 times. So we'll get 120 square inches as our answer. Perfect. Now going on to the third question. <clears throat> it says suppose the length of each side of a regular hexagon is 2 centimeter. If T is the midpoint of CD, then the length of AT in a centimeter is what? For solving this, first of all, let us create the hexagon. The hexagon is regular, all the sides are equal, so it's not drawn to scale, but yeah, we can figure it out. And it's known that the length is 2 centimeter. Let us name the uh, uh, vertices first A, B, C, D. E and F. It's known that T is the midpoint of CD. So let this be T. Now the lengths are 2 each. And as T is the midpoint, CT will be 1 and DT will also be equal to 1. We have to find out the length of this AT. All right. So we have a lot of things over here. And to find it out, we need certain constructions. Let us do it one by one. If I join A and C, if I join A and C, then I'll be getting a triangle, right angle triangle ACT, which is right angle at C. This is what I can find. And after that, if I find AC, I have CT as one, and this AT is nothing but the hypotenuse, so we can apply Pythagoras theorem, 
and calculate the value. All right. For that, what we can do over here? Let us join this. Let us join this. Once we have done it, we can use some trigonometry to find the value of to find the value of half of AC. <clears throat> we have two over here. This thing will be 90. And the angles at the vertices of regular hexagon is 120 always. So as this hole is 120, this will be 60 only. This will be 60, 90, 60, and this will be 30 automatically because the sum of the angles inside a triangle is always 180. Let us call it, for the sake of it, let us call this point as x. So basically, we can find Cx that will be equal to 2 cos 30. That is so easy. 2 cos 30. Now cos 30 is root 3 by 2. Root 3 by 2, that means the value of Cx will be 2 times root 3 by 2 or we can say Cx is nothing but root 3. Now we are concerned about the length of AC. And as we can see that AC is... 2 times Cx. Why? Because x is the midpoint. As I have dropped a perpendicular from B. They are equally distributed. So AC is 2 times Cx or I can say AC is 2 root T. So once we have established or uh, calculated the value of AC, we can apply Pythagoras theorem in the triangle ACT. In triangle ACT. So you can see that AC is, uh, looks like perpendicular, CT looks like the base, and AT is the hypotenuse, and that is what we have to calculate. So I can write the square of hypotenuse is equal to sum of the squares of the perpendicular plus the square of the base. That is what we can calculate over here. So we'll get 4, 3 is 12, plus 1 is 13. Or we can say 80 taking the positive square root since the side can never be negative. So we'll taking we'll taking only the positive square root. So we'll get root 13 as our answer. We'll mark second option and we'll move ahead. So this uh, question required basic understanding of trigonometry, the some of the angles of a triangle and a bit of construction. I would rate it as moderately easy question. So now you can see that geometry in CAT is not that difficult, but it can be difficult. Uh, and even if, let's say here we have had only three questions. Let's say there are four to five questions. You can all, always expect at least 50% of geometry questions to be easy or moderately easy. In the case of 2021 slot one, all were two were easy and one was moderately easy. Hope that gives you enough insight in the geometry asked in CAT. Thank you.